Big 12 Conference was created in 1996. It took teams from what used to be the Big 8 and the Southwest Conferences. The first Big 12 tournament was held in 1997. The Big 12 has been won in the regular season by Kansas as an outright title. This marks the 11th straight season in which the Jayhawks have either won the Big 12 outright or shared it. The Jayhawks now head into the Big 12 tournament with injury concerns. Their best player, forward Perry Ellis, got injured in a win over West Virginia on Tuesday. He might be back for the Big 12 tournament, but nothing is certain yet. And Coach Bill Self might rest him for the tournament, saving him for the one that really matters, the NCAA tournament. Kansas is the top seed, Iowa State second, Oklahoma third, Baylor fourth, West Virginia fifth, Oklahoma State sixth, Texas seventh, Kansas State eighth, TCU ninth, and Texas Tech tenth. This is a neutral site tournament in Kansas City. The 7th through 10th seeds play in the first round. The 7 versus 10 winner plays the second seed in the quarterfinals. The 8 versus 9 winner plays the top seed in the quarterfinals. When you're evaluating the odds to win the Big 12 tournament, you're going to find a list of all the teams involved as well as the odds next to each team's name. The team that is favorite is the team with the smallest number, including negatives, while the team that's the biggest underdog is the team with the largest positive number. Let's say you see minus 130 next to Kansas to win the Big 12 tournament. That means that if you bet $130 on the Jayhawks, and they do in fact win the conference tournament, you'll win $100. Anytime there's a negative sign in front of the odds, that's the number you bet to win $100. If you want to bet on an underdog, you'll see a plus sign as part of the price. Let's say West Virginia has odds of plus 210. If you bet $100 on the Mountaineers and they win, you'll collect $210 at the listed price. In total, you'll collect 310 as you're getting back your $100 stake plus the 210 in winnings. You actually don't have to bet in $100 increments, but this is just the way the odds are set up to make it easy to understand who is favored, who is the underdog. The Kansas Jayhawks have dominated this conference over the past two decades, but they enter this tournament with banged up players, including forward Perry Ellis, who is so important to the Jayhawks because he is effective at getting to the basket and finishing. If Ellis is below 100%, and that's a very reasonable possibility at this point, Kansas is probably not going to win the tournament. The better bet is Baylor, a team which is very physical and can outlast the trapping, pressing defense of West Virginia. The Bears on a neutral court would be in very good position to beat Kansas and make their way to the championship. Other than Baylor, the West Virginia Mountaineers have consistently outperformed expectations. West Virginia's head coach Bob Huggins gets maximum effort from his players, who have responded to him a lot more positively than in the previous two seasons, when the program slumped to the extent that it missed the NCAA tournament altogether. West Virginia has been dodged by injuries in the past few weeks, but they might be healthy at the right time. Baylor and West Virginia are both very capable of making a run, as is Iowa State. Baylor is not injured the way West Virginia is, however, it is not playing as consistently as Iowa State. The Bears are an excellent choice to win this tournament. Don't forget to check out all the NCAA basketball odds on the board right now and make a few wagers at BetDSI.com.